Welcome back to another episode of the Course Creation Incubator. I'm Gina Anativia, your course coach, your digital strategist, and your host, here to get you excited about getting your course done and out to market. So I'm a child of the 80s, and if you were a child of the 80s, you knew you had to toughen up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more than, say, our eight-year-old today has to toughen up. <laughs> and back then, my brother and I, we played a ton of sports. We played basketball and soccer and lacrosse and tennis and track and field. <laughs> we did everything. And it was a commitment. You went to practice or game unless you were bleeding or you broke a bone. You showed up, you played full out. And it wasn't about my parents. My parents have talked about them before. They're the nicest people on earth. My dad is literally a saint. I think it was more about the culture and showing up every day and committing and really going for it. So we try to instill that with Tristan. And I sometimes see with kids today or his peers, there's not that let's play full out and total commitment mentality. And I am a bulldog about it. I have been conditioned to be a bulldog about it. Uh, for many different reasons. And that's why working with me, that's what you're going to get, a total commitment. And in this podcast, listening to me too. What are you doing today? How are you building your course? How are you getting this done? I'm kind of relentless, guys. And I think my students love it, or they probably laugh at me at the same time because I'm such a bulldog about it. I'm so committed to their success. And when I meet a fellow bulldog that's committed to getting things done and in it to win it, I just fall in love immediately. And that's my done for you client, Shannon Brady, who has a thriving in-demand college counseling service here in San Diego and decided to put her trust in me to put together a course, a great course called The College Mind. And Shannon is director of academic and college counseling of Brady College Counseling. I mentioned she's in demand. Students are always calling her up, wanting to plan out what does their collegiate journey look like because she is the best in the business. And I wanted to bring Shannon on today for a few reasons. One, she's such a great example of going from consulting and coaching and counseling to building out a digital course. And secondly, she has a lot of different cool features in her program. And I love how she brought in different experts and elements to really augment the course and give her students a complete and comprehensive experience. So we're gonna talk through all of that and also how she segmented her audiences for the marketing and how she's rolling out the course right now as I record this. And speaking of being committed, in it to win it, six week accelerator, doing it live for the last time is opening up in just a few weeks. And if you've been thinking about getting your course done, if you've been thinking about getting coached through the entire process, your hand held, let's work together. Go to coursecreationboutique.com slash six weeks, get on that wait list. I cannot wait to work with you. All right, let's bring on Shannon so we could talk through her course creation experience and how she has made the transition from counselor and coach to course creator and expert online. Shannon, welcome to the podcast. So excited to have you on. Thanks for having me, Gina. It's been, it's awesome to be here and to chat with you. It's been a yeah. while. I know it's been a while. I love, love one of the reasons I love having my done for you clients on here is because we get the opportunity to catch up. And before we hopped on, you told me about all the amazing things that are happening with the college mind. And I want to hear about them all in this interview, but first and foremost, let's, let's go back to when you wanted to create an online course, when you started to have the ideas like this is possible, this is something I want to do as a very much in demand consultant. So when, when did that kind of idea pop for you? Yeah. You know, it's funny. It was actually a few years ago. I had had, um, my littlest about four years ago and the feeling of, um, overwhelming was definitely in my life. Um, and I actually spoke to a friend who, who also made a course with you. And she said, um, you know, you should think about putting this online for students, like college counseling should be, you know, just accessible. Like you should, you should just have something like a course or, and so that was many moons ago. And then fast forward to good old end of 2019, early 2020. And, and it really, it was, it was coming through fruition and, and really becoming something that I thought could, could happen and, and have some, some serious, um, potential. So, um, you know, it was, it was a time in my life that I felt like 
I had many years of experience. I knew that the material that I had created in the curriculum that was out there about college counseling and about college admissions was something that was very doable to put on a course. So it, it took a couple years of confident building. And then I think it, it really just was the right timing for me to say, let's just try this. And then of course, you know, with things that happened with COVID, it kind of then spiraled into like a, a, a absolutely, you know, like let's, yeah. let's do this. So, um, so yeah, it was a timing thing. I think it was, it was definitely, um, you know, just an awesome way to provide, to know that I could provide something to people all over that was needed, you know, right in the backyard too. So it, it all kind of came together. Yes, it, it did. And I, and I remember you were, you're highly in demand. You're still highly in demand, right? You knew you had a system that worked. Like, I feel like the ingredients kind of fell into place for you. And I know one concern that you had, Shannon, cause we talked about this quite a bit was I meet with my, my students one-on-one right? My high school students one-on-one, how am I going to translate this to me not being in the room with them? And I remember having a lot of discussions about that. And, and now having gone through the course creation process, like, what do you think about that journey? Like going from one-to-one to, to the many? Yeah. You know, if that is, that was, it's, and it's still one of those things where college counseling and so many services right out there are so personalized. And I think what was really helpful Um, of what, you know, your, your ability to kind of take something that is very personalized and help me realize that we can give a lot of general information and resources that will allow them to find their, their path. Right. And just find their, their way to get there, even though I don't know where they're starting necessarily, because I'm not with them physically or on the phone or, you know, so, um, it was, it was one of those times where it's just like, like a information dump, like, okay, what do I have? And what are, what are ways to, to give examples and to provide all of the options? So no one's taking this course feeling like, oh, this isn't for me. This is for Susie, who's a straight A student, or this isn't for me. This is for Johnny who, you know, does, who wants to take honors or AP classes. So it was really trying to find a huge umbrella of information about college counseling, college admissions, and, and just provide every little nook and cranny. So whoever's listening can kind of take it and do what they can with it. And that's, you know, again, what you certainly helped me with. (laughs) Yeah. I think it's part of, you put it out there. It's a little bit of a a buffet in some ways. Like I know the course, you've got some core content in there that everyone should learn, but I thought you did a really great job looking through, okay, well, you know, they can pick and choose these different pieces, depending on like with the bonuses, right? Like depending on the scenario. So can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So I think the thing about, um, planning for, for college, right? I mean, it, yeah. it, it starts early. So it was being able to find an audience that in, in my opinion, starting early with this process means starting in at the end of eighth grade, um, because what they're doing then is going to trickle down to what's going to happen through their senior year. So along the way, there's bits and pieces that are important to get. So um, providing them with those outlets, I think was, was really important. Um, utilizing career and personality assessments. So we embedded that in the course. Um, we also embedded some bonuses of social media and college admissions, um, by someone who helps students create digital resumes. So learning about the do's and the don'ts of what students should be posting on things and how, you know, to, to emphasize a, a positive, um, digital resume. And then, also testing, just understanding the, the ins and outs of SATs, ACTs, along with um, kind of at the end of the road with essay editing. So including that and three rounds of essay editing was a huge component to pull in a huge value to that course um, and really rounding it out for a student to start it in eighth grade, end of eighth grade, and literally carry it with them through their entire high school career. That was the goal because like you said, it's like, I'm taking on a student and I'm working with them one-on-one and the goal was to take, you know, purchase this course and it's going to help you the entire high school career. So yeah, it was definitely kind of picking from, from the trees, all of the fruit that we could find that really gives them all, all that they need. 
You are bringing me back uh, down a memory lane in a great way. And I just want to recap some of the things that you're talking about so listeners can learn. So, so Shannon had some collaborators or people that she said, like assessment, uh, people who did assessments and essay writing services, and she collaborated with them, right? And you said, hey, you could be a part of the course. Uh, you did a special uh, deal with them. And they became part of this course because you knew that was a part of your core consulting and coaching. And then also, I love that you did these interviews, right? You did these separate expert interviews. You said to me, Gina, I'm not the expert on financial aid. Oh, but I have a friend who is. I'm not the expert on this. And I thought it was such an elegant way to introduce other experts without stealing the thunder from you, which I know you would never worry about, Shannon, because you were so humble and amazing. But uh, but I thought it was a great way. And social media, you had the video uh, at an interview, right? So if you're listening right now, you can bring in these experts as bonuses like Shannon did. You did, I think the interviews were like eight minutes long. Yeah, something. I think one was, I think that financially was probably the longest, like maybe 15. But yeah, mm-hmm. they, you know, hugged anywhere from eight to, you know, somewhere 10 minutes ish. Um, yeah. So pretty short and sweet. And then you asked them for, I thought that was smart. You asked them for a PDF for, and we, and we could them, we gave them credit. We sourced it to them, branded to Shannon and college mind, but then gave them credit. So it's a win-win. The students get the information, your experts get that exposure and, and all this wonderful in- information wrapped up into one course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It all kind of, it was like nice, pretty bow at the end. <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So I, and this is kind of a loaded question because you're a coach and consultant, right? So I'm sure throughout your life, you hire coaches and consultants. How did you know as part of the course creation process, you're like, I need a coach. For yeah. This. Well, that's exactly it. Right. Like when you need someone that knows what they're doing, because that's not in my wheelhouse to create a course, you find the people that can, that can do that. So, um, uh, again, I, I can give her kind of a shout out, Melissa Goodwin with her course that she yes. created. Wild, I'll link to her episode. Yeah. <laughs> wild well-being. Yeah. She was phenomenal with, um, you know, her feedback on you and just said, you need to hire Gina. She's going to help you every step of the way. And so, you know, it was, cause it's something for me that, you know, technology is not necessarily, I'm a, I'm a counselor. I'm, you know, my, my, my background is working and talking with people and students. Right. So, um, while I might be online and doing all the things, it's not something that I know what to do. So of course this is, you want it to be professional. You want it to be, you know, everything about this process to me meant you're putting your best foot forward, just like it is in college admissions and helping a student, you know, make or help their profile be the best it can be. So this was, this was kind of my baby all wrapped up, um, my career. And so it was a no brainer to, to hire you and and your crew and to help, um, with, with that process. And, and it was, it really was a very streamlined structured process, which, I don't know, you know, most people probably can thrive off of in some degree. So, um, so yeah, so it was really helpful. That's, that's, that's awesome. And, and one, another thing I want to bring up is you had a mix of direct to camera with slides and audio, right? So, and you and I talked early on and made a conscious decision that the students would be used to slides with audio, right? Like would be accustomed to that. But then we picked and choose, picked and chose, uh, some direct to camera pieces. And, but you made a conscious decision. Like I only want to do a one day shoot. Remember that? And you said like, I don't want to do a three day shoot. Uh, I just want to keep this simple, but I want them to see me at some point. Right. And we talked about that. Like, what do you think about that blend between seeing you and the intros? So we did some intros to the modules and then the rest are slides with audio. Like, why do you think that works for your student? Why do you think that works for an audience? Well, I think the you know what I what I like about the course too with that is um, you know not even when I was creating it with you I didn't even realize there was a Kajabi app, which mm-hmm. is pretty cool, right? Yes. So and I think the ability to be able to listen to things now and of course watch, but to me the the information that I was providing it was I was speaking through it all. So as long as they were hearing it initially, that was like the first key point is okay, are you hearing this information? And then the intro I felt was just that personal touch to them, the ability to see me say it, to kind of have those heartfelt questions in the beginning. And then the rest of it was like, okay, get to work guys. We're going to watch this and you're going to have resources to look at after or or something to really do homework wise after. So you know, just like it is for them in, you know, a typical class in high school, it was, it's kind of like, this is 
take this as a course um, that's going to provide them information on a very important step of their, you know, of their high school career. So, um, so I, I liked it. I mean, I think, you know, I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera. So I think for me, it was like the perfect blend of, you know, just, just enough. <laughs> um, and you know, that's something for me, it's just, I'm, I'm good one-on-one -on -one and, and that, that works for me, but this is, this is a new kind of venture for me, but I think it really does help to have that that touch at some point physic or not physically, but through, through video showing yourself, I think it, I think it just makes it that much more personal for, for the consumer. You know? I agree. I thought there were some nice touches in there and I thought you were better than you, better than you think on <laughs> <Thank> video. You. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the marketing, because I think you've been really smart about that too, Shannon, in phasing the marketing. Like we went out with a beta right over when you first released it. And then talk about how you kind of use your network and talk to different people to, to get the course out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, again, I, I've been in this community, uh, in San Diego for about 15 years now. Um, and so I've made some really great connections with different organizations and have done speaking engagements. So I will continue and love to do that. So that was an easy way for me to connect physically and of course provide great information about college planning and then of and then you know in and also give them that information about the course so so that was that's kind of the natural feel for me and how I like to present and spread spread the news but of course the social media component and just being able to just splash it all over the place um, was another piece and so I ultimately, um, I've just, it's a slow trickle for me. I'm, I'm posting, I'm on social media. I have a blog now on, um, the website with information on a weekly basis. And then, um, you know, connecting with people that are on social media that have high school students that are able to take the course and provide some feedback for me and to let people know about the course has been another way for me to grow, um, and let people know that it's out there. And so that's been really helpful as well. And it kind of takes the pressure off of me to post all of those, you know, stories and, and posts that I typically don't like to do. So <laughs> I'm more of a get me on the phone to talk, which I'm trying to like, let me just get that information on social media instead of, uh, having the time to do that one-on-one, -on -one. but, um, but yeah, so it's, it's been, um, it's been a good way to, you know, have that mix of in-person and then trying to get it on, you know, on the, on the website blog wise and, and Instagram. And, and speaking of Kajabi, I know we worked on several different offers, right? Like the segmentation has been off the charts in terms of you offer it to one high school or an area and you could segment to them, right? You could do different coupons and different offer pages for them. Like, I just thought you've done a really great yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just want this out there. You know, I think yeah. anybody creating a course, right? You're like, I want my information for, like, I want this to sell. I mean, of course, like, of course, but it's like, initially I, I want people to, to get on board and, and see what they can really learn and they might not be getting at their own high school or they don't even know is out there. And so it was, so yeah, I mean, to me, it's making it an affordable, really valuable um, information was, is kind of the key in this, you know, first couple of years of, of rolling it out too. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. And, uh, and then I know your goal was to start concentrating more on the course, less of the one-to-one, -one, right? And we talked before this podcast recording that you're in phase one, right? You're doing this hybrid model. That'll, that'll be your next step to like really putting the course out there. So talk about that a little bit. Sure. Yeah. So the college mine has four counselors that work for, for, for the course in the sense that when you purchase the course, uh, you have options of working with someone one-on-one -on -one, virtually, of course. But, um, I think a lot of that is still, important for a lot of families. They still want that connection with somebody and ask some specific questions, which I can't say I don't blame them. I think that this process, there is so much gray and there's so many questions yes. that some students might have individually that it is somewhat important to get those little answers um, or those questions answered, I should say. But 
but yeah, you know, I love the connections with families. I love meeting with them hourly. Um, I do like, like you said, I have the hybrid where they can sign on for the course. And then they also get five hours of college counseling between now through the end of their senior year. So that's open for the class of 2023. So anytime there's a rising senior class, that's the perfect combo, especially for a student who's super motivated, um, has some ideas of what they might want in the, in the, you know, college admissions world, as far as their list is, is somewhat on the, on its way. And so it really just kind of gives them that handholding that they might need with a counselor alongside the course that's going to guide them and give them the resources and the step-by-step of what they need to be doing next in the application process. Yeah. So smart. So you offer the coaching two ways. You do a hybrid offer, right? And then in the core course, we have it as an upsell as well, right? So exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of combining the two, but you're right. So if someone was to go on to the course right now, yep. an outsider, they would, if they start to purchase the course, then yes, they would then see the option of uh, being able to purchase increments of college counseling. I think we have it set to like one, three and maybe and five. five. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's one option. And then the hybrid, as I'm calling it right now is, is speaking directly to me. So when people call me and, and we, when we chat, then we set that up a little differently, but it's ultimately the same course, but five hours of college counseling, which is, which is great. Cause what I love about this, if you're listening right now and you're a coach or a consultant, you're a counselor, you're worried about how am I going to add that personalization? Think of it as offering it as a hybrid and you could have some access to you. You're eventually, I just know this, you're going to phase that out. So, but initially that's a great start or then you can offer it as an upsell or you can offer two tiers depending on how you're selling it. So just so smart. I think give the people what they want, but don't be afraid to charge for it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, people find value in this and, and yeah. they, you know, if they're looking for the information online, then that means in all avenues. So I think it's totally, totally great to give them all, give them all the options, <laughs> all the options. Yeah. What would you say to someone listening right now, a coach, a consultant, thinking about starting an online course and maybe thinking, well, I can't translate this to everyone or now's not the great time or whatever doubts and fears are coming up for them? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, I think, I think you kind of have to throw yourself into it and not overthink it because mm -hmm. I, I were, I was my own like worst enemy in the process or I was my biggest obstacle, right? It was like, okay, well, how am I going to do this? And, and you would say, okay, this week's going to look like this. And this coming week's going to look like that. And giving the, the roadmap, mm -hmm. having someone to provide you with the right questions. I think, um, I think that's the benefit of having someone to coach you along the way, because you might not know, but if you have that guide, it all of a sudden triggers you to say, I have those answers. This is what I do. Right. And it's just getting that information out in a, in a way that's, that's needed. And so, um, yeah, I think ultimately it's just, it, it's just the regrets. I think that I have always had in my life is not what I haven't um, or what I've done. It's what I haven't done. Right. And so I think for me, it was like, if you have that yearning of like, why not, then you should try this. I think it's ultimately, it's a why not, because this, this online world and the courses that, and the availability that people are providing information is fantastic. And I mean, I think we all will agree that, you know, we're learning from every Avenue now. And so I think if it's, if it's online, it's just going to make, make that accessibility even more, more available for, for all. So, um, yeah, yeah. I think it's just like, go for it. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm in a state of my life where I'm like, why not, you know, and just go for it. And there's people like you that are going to be that, that structure and that ability to, to get it done and hold you accountable. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I love what you're saying about every week. You're right. So I do that with the done for you. I do it with the accelerator every week. I'm saying, okay, this is what we're focusing on. And I know you had questions, right? Like, well, Gina, but what about the checkout page or whatever? Like, okay, we'll get to that. Right. And just because otherwise it gets a bit overwhelming, you know, it could, it could blow your brain up a little bit. Yeah. It's like, yeah. stay in your lane. You're like, I just stayed in my lane. And then you just told me when I needed to turn. And I think <laughs> that's helpful. And, you know, in all of our, our lives of, of whatever we're doing is just having someone be like, okay, now you're going to do this. Oh, okay. I can do that. <laughs> awesome. So, okay. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of getting it done, you've got some college mind things to do with some action items. So I want to let you go, but we're can we learn more about college mind? Tristan is eight now. I'm going to have to take this, you know, yeah, a hey, years, so. more years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it. Yeah. No. So the website is, um, the college mind.com. 
And our Instagram is the college mind course. College mind course. Yeah. Okay. We will check that out. Shannon, thanks for taking the time. I know you're a busy lady. Oh, thanks for having me, Gina. All right. What did you think of Shannon? She's awesome, right? She knows exactly what she's talking about. You could hear it in her voice. She's a true expert in her field. And I love how flexible she is and how she's willing to try things on and take a risk also. Okay. I've talked about being a bulldog at the beginning of this episode. If you want me in your corner fighting for you every step of the way, join my accelerator wait list. Like I mentioned, it's opening up very soon. If you want to get your course done in six weeks, this is the time to do it. Next week, I'm talking through the best way to get your course done after many years of building out courses for myself and for my students. You're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss one second of this podcast. Until next week, go create, be you and be brilliant and get it done.